as I say, and, you know, get the points. That was a brave he move, by, coach. <laughs> that was a brave move by Peñaranda because she was up, up against two blockers, yeah. two tall blockers from USD. That's right. But USD's offense, yeah. unstoppable. unstoppable. Right now. One of FU's specialties back, you know, two or three years ago was their blocking, but it seems that, you know, after losing key players in the offseason, they have, you know, uh -huh. dropped that, yeah. you know, the tenacity of the defense. That's right, you're right. Uh, before, Irish Morada was a good center blocker. She had uh, that hang time that was necessary for, for her to float and, you know, wait for the actual hit by the spiker. Got uh, Dockies before also had a center mm -hmm. blocker. But it seems that, uh, you know, the blocking has faded away from FEU. Although their offense is still there, but it's not enough. It, your, your game is now one-faceted yeah. because you can only do offense without defense. That's right. And uh, they, they sorely miss those kinds of uh, aggressiveness in the player that uh, whenever they go for, for the block. Mm -hmm. They've got to really improve on that department. Morada out of the team because she decided to pursue her concentrate on her studies that's yeah. why she did not uh, you know play out her years that's as a right. player while Dakis of course has graduated and played out all five years yeah. of her eligibility ooh ball just dropped in front of Cabana against Tianco <laughs> that's how that's how out of the game FU is right now against that's right. USD that's right Sabi ni Coach Ness, mag-relax na sobrahan siya tayo. Pag-relax na doon. Na sobrahan, yeah. it's not relax in a way that you just are not mindful of what's happening on the court. It's a, it's just a way of saying that you've got to be play more loose. fluid, mm -hmm. you know, try to release some of that tension. And of course, play play as you, you still want to win. Mm -hmm. Oh, ganun dapat. Vivas. There you go. When she winds up like that, you know it's good. One of the most reliable open uh -huh. spikers, Jeremy Vivas. She's got to be up there in the standings. Mm -hmm. She's one of the best attackers in the league, despite the uh, below 500 standing yeah. of FEU. You're right. Tamakero hits out of bounds. And FEU is within one in. Yeah. It's a much closer second set we're seeing. And Tamakero tries again. You see, those are big gaps in the uh, back row defense of FEU. There should be some motion mm -hmm. with the, uh, with that uh, with that formation, but uh, it doesn't happen. And FEU used to be vacuum tight mm -hmm. when they played, you know, with their complete lineup mm -hmm. two, three years ago. Even last year, they were solid. But this time, that. you see holes in the defense. Despite that, they are still within one point. Gwyneth Eulalio serving. Manse will set it up. Solid block by Tamakero and Manse. Easy pickup for USD. Tamakero is blocked. Free ball for FEU. Lady Tams on the attack. Tianco. Oh, nice shot from Tianco. Getting away from the Manse and Tabacero yeah. block and going cross-court. Wow. That was like a Roger Federer. <laughs> you know, faking everybody. Even the blocker. She waited for that block to be set up and last second avoided it with a cut shot. Cross-court. Excellent play from Tiango. More of that is what FEU needs here in set yep. number two. But we're tied at 13. Manse with a tip. Better floor defense by FEU this time. Vivas. That is inbound. And a point for wow. USD. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. Vivas did everything right. Tried to hit it off the block, but, uh, you know, inches really <laughs> matter in this game. Koti koti lang yan. Mm -hmm. There you go. About three, four inches more. Yeah, that would have been a point for FEU. But she gets it right back. <laughs> Running hit. Can you believe it? Vivas is starting to smoke hot here in set number two. Wow, look at that open lane. No blockers for Vivas. And she just hits it head on. Wow. And she knew who to send it to, Manse. <laughs> yeah, that's right. But Ortiz says payback. 
This is the action that the fans are waiting to see between USC and FU. This is what they're they're used to whenever these two teams mm-hmm. face off. Again, two teams with a rich volleyball tradition. And this is what we want to see for uh, for today's match. FEU just starting to get it going. Wow, good dig by USD, but Caballero throws that point away. Another miss hit from Caballero. We normally see that from her. Uh, fails to clip the wrist and give it some top spin. And don't look now. FEU have they have turned the tables around. They are up by two, 16-14. Wow, just like that. It seems that uh, this, the ankle sprain by Custodio has boosted the morale uh-huh. of the Lady Thames. Well, of course, you want her to uh, get her ankle back in mm-hmm. shape. <laughs> Look at that. That could have been, you know, a spark for the rest of the FU squad. And there seems to be something wrong. Yeah, with the score, I the think. score, and the officials will sort things out. We're going to take a break as well. Be back with more action. Hang on. Everybody but he got uh, so carried away with his series of attacks and hits. And even the computer went bonkers a little bit. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah. but we sorted it out. And now we're tied at 16 all. But FEU at one point, we stand corrected, was in the lead by one point. Mm-hmm. And USD uh, now seeing another error from Caballejo. And we saw an earlier spiking error also from Maizo. So now they're seeing the hands of the FEU blockers right there in front of them. This is a department that FEU should really improve on because it really changes the, the the attacks of your opponent if you see like four hands reaching out to try and covering that, that spike of yours. Mm-hmm. And we know that that is in uh, the yeah. DNA of FEU. Yeah. They used to be good defenders, but you know, they have to relearn how to be tight defensively as a team. Yes, right. Look at that dump by Dimakulang and using two hands this time. Wow, just uh, you know, the, the reason why she does that is her goal really is to fake the opponent, mm-hmm. trying to uh, make them see that she was going to set the ball, but uh, it just works for her and, uh, and for the USD Lady Tigers. Wow. Such a smart player. Mm-hmm. 17 all. Fortuno in to serve for USD. <laughs> she was trying to avoid everybody that time, even the ball. <laughs> a violation against FEU gives USD the lead with just by one point 18 serving 17 Remigio is in for setting duties for FEU That was outside again. Didn't touch any of the FEU blockers. So, again, point is going to FEU. No complaints. Arguments from Coach Jack De Los Santos. So, uh-huh. it's got to be the correct call. The accurate one. No complaints, but uh, Caballero gets the... <laughs> yeah, she gets pulled out. She-